I want to start an FM23 save with a twist. I want to become not a manager, but a director of football. It would be my responsibility to identify and hire a head coach and bring him in as a system manager in game. He would be in charge of all matters on the pitch, team selection, tactics, training, and of course, match days. I would be in charge of recruitment, signing players, selling players for our head coach to use in the matches. And ultimately, the decision of replacing the head coach if results weren't up to scratch. You're fired. I feel like this save could be a whole lot of fun. I think we should get into it. This is Director of Football 2020. That name is just dreadful. You know, you could see what I was going for though, right? Come on, let's, let's do it. So as you would have already worked out from the thumbnail of today's video, I've chosen Spurs as my team. And I really want to find out in today's video, just how plausible is it to become the director of football? Is it possible to go and hire that head coach and see just how it works? Because if it is possible and if this works nicely, I'm going to have so much fun with this. And this could even turn into a little bit of a series. So let's jump in. I've just been hired as the manager, as you can see here. The manager, of course, because that is what is possible in the game. But we're going to go to our responsibilities tab. We're going to select or deselect most of them, really. We're going to hand it over to the assistant manager. And the first thing we're going to look for is a brand new assistant manager who hopefully, I suppose, kind of goes with our own philosophies, the type of football that I want to play with, maybe a 4-3-3, the style of football that I like to go with. I guess that's what you're thinking about as a director of football, isn't it? Let's drop a quick save on this game and let's get searching for our new head coach. Okay, so we're in and of course at Spurs then in the game here, we're currently working with Christian Stellini. There he is, look. Stellini, who famously recently led Spurs to a win against Manchester City when Conte was back in Italy. He had an operation. He's not been very well, has he? Stellini's actually taken charge of the first team. So, I mean, to be honest, he wouldn't be a bad choice to become our manager in this save. But I think for the sake of having fun with the save, I'm going to I'm going to remove him from his post, which seems a bit harsh. I'm going to ask him to mutually terminate his contract. Okay, he's agreed to it. It costs £1 million. I'm now going to place this advert then for an assistant manager. I think rather than go and headhunt somebody, maybe we'll have a look at who's available. I wonder if we wait to see who applies for the role. A bit like a job application. We can go through the candidates and maybe choose from those ones. From this point, I think I'm going to set up the ty tactical direction that I'd look to go for. Maybe just put in something quite simple for now because I want the assistant or the head coach to go with what they choose. But I'll put a 4-3-3 in. We'll go through this. Look, we are expected to play attacking football, to play a possession football. That's in the board culture. So maybe we're looking for a head coach that is going to do these things as well. I also need to look at this, don't I? Sign players under the age of 22. Do not sign players over the age of 30. I'm doing the recruitment, so I'm going to need to look at that definitely. And I guess let's accept this current vi vision. We are expected to qualify for the Europa League. So top six ish for Spurs this year. I think also what I will do now to get it out of the way is to go to our responsibilities and basically anything to do with the match, I'm going to delegate to our, to, well, at the moment, our goalkeeping coach because that's just the way it is. But I want to basically put a lot of the responsibilities over tactics as well. I'm going to get the assist my staff to do that one. Training, get my staff to do all of that as well. I'm just doing media, get him to go and do all the press conferences and everything. Definitely. It's quite fun, isn't it? I don't have to do very much. Transfers, I'll leave all of this to me. Scouting, I guess I'm in charge of scouting as well alongside my staff. I want to as well. Is there a way that I can firing and firing? I guess that's okay. I'll go through these and just check that I'm doing everything I need to. And of course, I will mention too that if you want to play this save, I'm going to drop a save file over onto my Patreon, the Claytreon, for the very start of this save so that you can go and do the exact same challenge alongside me if you're a Claytreon member. That is a, a cool thing that I will be cool to do. I'll drop the initial save file once it's all set up and you can go from there. I guess I continue now. Let's confirm those changes. Let's continue now until we get some, some managers, some head coaches applying for the job. Oh, hello. We've got some interest in our vacancy here. Bout wants Tottenham job. Marcel Bout is believed to be extremely interested in the vacant Tottenham Hotspur assistant manager's job should the opportunity be offered to him. Let's have a look at you, Marcel Bout. I mean, you're not too bad. What is your type of football? Fluid counter-attack. You were most recently a scout at Manchester United. I don't think we're going to get proper, proper managers here because it's an assistant manager role. We're going to have to maybe find a slightly more unknown 
person to come and be our head coach. But Marcel Belt seems to be the first person to throw his hat into the ring. He plays a 4-2-3-1 DM AM wide, which is not too bad. Playing style standard. He's got some okay attributes as well. Managerial wise is kind of what we're looking at actually here, isn't it? Rather than as a, a coach, because we're looking at his management. I like the look of him. Let's see who else he's up against. He's got a wealth of experience, apparently. We'll continue. I've not done any transfer stuff, by the way. I'm waiting to get our man into his job so that we can buy players that go with his principles. We can see how he sets up in a few of the friendlies. I've had a look at the transfer budget, by the way. 26 million to still go and spend with loads of wages too. I could put some of that into the transfers to go to about 33 million. I think we could go and get one or two players in, bolster this team. I've also had a look at the season preview as well. We are predicted to finish fifth. We don't have any players in the Dream 11. That's why recruitment could be important here. Let's continue and see if we get any actual applications for the job. The applications are in. Here they are. We are looking at a pretty big list, actually, including one of our own. Paul Bracewell has decided to apply for it. He's the under-18s coach at the club already. But some decently sized names in here as well, actually, that I'm looking through. I remember I've signed Oceano Cruz before because, yeah, there he is. Who did I sign him for? He's my assistant manager in a different save or was at some point. I'm sure of it. We've got Neil Critchley, who has just been sacked by QPR recently. He is ex-Blackpool manager. He was at Liverpool in the under-23s. Did he go to Rangers? He went to Villa. He's been with Steven Gerrard a few times in his in his career, hasn't he? There's a few on here, though, as well that I think are quite interesting, too. Like Angelo Peruzzi, who is the former goalkeeper, who... I kind of, maybe I'm tempted to do this. With the Conte links from before and things, we've got an Italian who managerially, great determination, great motivation. Let's have a look at his football style. He plays Tiki Taka. I don't hate that, you know. 5 2 2 1. And so the five at the back, which Conte did like, so maybe transitioning into a 5 2 2 1 DM AM wouldn't be the worst thing as well. Do you know what? I feel like Angelo Peruzzi might be towards the top of my list here. Let's have a look at the other ones. We've got our judging ability and judging potential. This is for an assistant manager, so that's less important, I suppose, because we'll be doing the recruitment. But some other people here too. Pablo Sanz who is former Real Madrid at some point. What was he at Real Madrid? He was, he was assistant manager at Real Madrid, assistant manager at Sevilla. Probably at Sevilla during some of those Europa League wins as well, which maybe to Unai Emery, was it? Maybe could be an interesting one. Would be somebody that I think people would look for. He plays a 4-4-2, which I quite like. I'm not sure it's maybe the modern way. Control possession 4-4-2. I guess that's maybe one of the important things here as well, is that what type of football do we want to play? We've got Jesus Perez, who plays a gegenpress, a 4-2-3-1 gegenpress. I mean, you can't go wrong there. Oh, he's a former assistant manager at Spurs. That's interesting. For, he must have followed Poch then, because he's Poch's assistant manager at Southampton, then Tottenham, and then PSG. Oh, this could be... Maybe if we want to go back towards that. Oh, there's a lot in this as well now. Between Peruzzi and Perez, I like the look of both of them, actually. Alessandro Silva is a Portuguese assistant manager, formerly of Wolves. He plays a vertical tiki-taka, 5-2-1-2. Similar to Peruzzi, actually. Orlando Trustfall is Dutch, control possession. He is a former... Ajax under-19s manager. So there's a little bit in that as well, isn't there? That he's had the, the youth teams at Ajax, of course, are famous for the youngsters that they're producing. So maybe there's a bit of their total football from yesteryear. He was in a former assistant manager at Palace. Was that under maybe Koeman, I want to guess? If it was at Palace during that time? That's just a guess. I could probably check here. I don't know. It's not going to say. He was then. He was at Inter before that and Atlanta United in the US after that. Wolfgang Rolf is the next one. Actually, one of the only ones on here that is a former manager. Laval United and Salmir. Not exactly the types of clubs you'd be looking for, but he does have a fantastic mullet. So something to think about. Park the bus. Okay, maybe not Wolfgang. Park the bus is his, his favourite type of football. We looked at Oceana Cruz. Paul Bracewell, he's an under 18s coach. I just, nah. I mean, what does he like to play? Gag and press 4-3-3. That is kind of what I like to play. If I was a manager, something I'd like to play. Maybe he doesn't quite have the experience. Was Halifax manager? Was Fulham manager in 2000? I mean, how old are you? You're 60. That was quite a while ago. Diego Reyes is a former Leeds assistant manager. Was that Bielsa? that he was assistant to? Could be, you know. For Chile, he was the performance analyst. I like that. He's also a Geg and Press player. So again, if we did want to go down that route, we could do. Bonetti is a former Watford assistant manager, former Sampdoria, Roma, was a coach, all the way, and then he's, yeah, a player in Italy. Again, that Italian link. Vertical Tiki Taka, 4-2-3-1. I think I'm leaning towards 
Angelo Peruzzi, you know. It's Peruzzi or Perez with similar names. Tiki Taka 5221 DMAM. I think I'm going to go with Angelo Peruzzi. At least let's see if he wants to if he wants to actually talk. View applicants. Is this a nice screen? Oh, it actually shows you the screen with their their abilities on the search screen. That's quite a nice little touch there. I've no, I don't really do adverts very often, but you know what? I'm going to offer the job to Angelo Peruzzi. He wants 14.75k. Can I add anything here that helps me to, to get rid of him? If he gets a management role, we waive that. Not really. Let's put him on a four-year deal. Oh, uh, exactly what he wants. Let's bring it down a little bit. At 14k, we're going to appoint our very first head coach. It's former Inter Milan goalkeeper, Angelo Peruzzi. And I've offered him a contract. Let's continue and see if he takes it. It's exciting. This is such a fun way to do a save. In fact, I should mention as well, I saw second yellow cards video about becoming an agent in Football Manager and it sprung this bit of inspiration in my mind. It's a save here that I've wanted to do for a long time. And I was like, do you know what? That works. Thank you, second yellow card for the inspiration. We're going to become the assistant manager here. Hopefully hiring Angelo Peruzzi as our very first head coach, as I'm going to call them here. It's assistant manager in game. Ah, first uh, hiccup. Slight issue. It's difficult, this director of football thing. Uh, he needs a work permit, Angelo Peruzzi, and he's not going to get a work permit until the 15th of August. So we've got two games in that time, and we're not going to have a manager for them. So I'm going to have to choose a different member of staff to go and manage the team for these first two games. Just so happens that these first two games are Manchester United, but first... Liverpool. I mean, look at this start to the season. We go Liverpool, United, and then Arsenal. Hopefully, if he gets that work permit, Peruzzi's first match in charge will be the North London derby away to Arsenal, which is quite exciting. But small hiccup is that I'm going to have to choose a different member of staff to take charge. At the moment, in terms of who's been doing most of the responsibilities, it's been this guy, Gianni Vio, which maybe presents a little bit of a problem. If he goes and beats Liverpool and then United, does this guy get the job permanently? Gianni Vio. I mean, maybe we'll need to think about that. But he's going to be in charge for the first game against Liverpool. I'm going to go and get myself up to that game, praying that Peruzzi gets a work permit before a head of schedule. He won't do, though. So um, I'll see you at the Liverpool game. Okay, so it's the morning of the Liverpool game. A brand new season begins now. And we don't have a manager or even a head coach for that matter. We are waiting on the work permit for Angelo Peruzzi, as discussed before. That won't come through for a while, though. But because of this and, in, you know, getting ahead of the game here, an Italian head coach coming in, I've decided to make a move for our first signing of the save. It's Alessandro Bastoni, one of my favourite defenders, one of my favourite centre-backs on FM23, an Italian centre-back. So that links with the new Italian manager or head coach. And also, he is reported to have been a real-life target for Spurs in over the course of the summer and maybe even in the future too. He's available for about 34 to 51 million pounds. I've decided to spend about 50 million pounds guaranteed or not guaranteed 35 million pounds guaranteed with future clauses that would take it up to about 50 million pounds. I've offered him about 100,000 pounds per week. I think he's well and truly worth it. He would come in and improve on a system that would look a little bit like this. I'm trying to fit into Peruzzi's 5221 DMAM Tiki Taka style. Weird little situation with Son in behind Kane, Kulusevski. These could play a bit higher and a bit wider, which is a bit more like what Spurs use, but I'm trying to go with the way that Peruzzi likes to play. So maybe Son needs to learn this shadow striker role. We couldn't even swap it, you know. Do you know what? I've used Kane as a shadow striker before to great effect. I might even swap this. Maybe use Son as more of a an advance forward and do it like this look. Maybe that could work nicely because Harry Kane is actually natural as a shadow striker in behind. Let's try it like this. We could swap these, of course. And do you know what? It doesn't matter what I say because it's not going to be me, me making these decisions anyway. I just think it might look a bit like this. We could bring in Bastoni to replace either Dyer and Longley could go into the middle. We could bring in Bastoni here or we could do it Bastoni in the middle. Either way, I think it makes us stronger. I am going to now leave this game up to Gianni Vio. In fact, I need to just make sure of that, that if, how do I do match days if I'm in, I don't know who's actually going to take charge. I Hopefully it's going to be Vio because what I'm going to do is go on holiday for one day I'm not going to tell him to use the current match tactics. I'm not going to tell him to use the current team selection. I'm going to go on holiday. We're going to come back and see how our interim caretaker manager has done. What a weird start for this save here. We don't have a manager. How do we do against Liverpool at home using this? I don't even know what system they're going to use. I don't even know who's actually going to be in charge, but it's fun, isn't it? Let's find out 
what the result is. Oh, Jesus Christ. We've lost 5-1 at home. H whoever was in charge, I'm assuming Gianni Vio has played a 4-4-2 and we've lost 5-1 at home. This... Let, uh, let me see these goals. What, 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 oh, my, this is my job on the line. This is the thing about this save that if the manager doesn't do well, it's me that is going to take the flack for it. So I know that I can sack and rehire a new head coach, but ultimately it's me that might get sacked and I'm the one who's going to have to talk to the board about this. Firmino gives Liverpool, oh my word, that is horror defending. That's just bounced over Larice and Firmino scored. I mean, up the pace of this because we've got, we've got five goals to get through here. We did equalise as well, apparently. Son, I mean, that's terrible defending from Liverpool. Son equalised. That is as good as it got for us, though, because Liverpool then went and scored four more. Salah. I mean, Lloris. Oh, what? Did that bounce in as well? What am I watching here? I'm quite happy that I've gone for a new centre-back. Luis Diaz, that is a great goal. Firmino then scored a penalty to make it 4-1. And finally, in the second half, oh my word, that most of those were in the first half as well. Naby Keita makes it five. We have got... um. An uphill battle on our hands, I think, here. We're going to have to carry on. Oh, my. Well, yeah, it was it was Gianni Vio, look. He was impressed by Bobby Firmino. Vio, do you, is it 4-4-2? He doesn't even want to play. He could have played 4-3-3. He went for 4-4-2. I mean, I don't know what to say. We're bottom of the league. This is dreadful. What do the board say about that? They're, they're still... Okay, they've not... Daniel Levy hasn't realised that we've played a game. Hopefully, that is the case. I'm going to continue and... um. See if we can sign Bastoni and get ourselves up to this Manchester United game away from... It doesn't get easier, does it? I'll see you at United. Jesus Christ. Right, at least Bastoni is on his way in. He has accepted terms. We're going to confirm the signing of Alessandro Bastoni as our first signing as director of football. Still no sign of Angelo Peruzzi as the new manager, though. But at least we've got our first signing through the door to hopefully shore up a defence that's already conceded five. I've also noticed, by the way, that Manchester City won 6-0 and Haaland scored four on the first day so i mean that's what we're up against here we've got manchester united away coming up there is bastoni though he is in this is a good start i really like him as a player let's ask Lloris to welcome him let's make sure we give him a number and also make sure that he's registered for the squad that's fairly important and i should tell you once i've registered registered him there i've made a move for a second signing Alexis McAllister looks like he might be joining. I have bid around about £25 million guaranteed, a little bit extra in terms of instalments and after he plays a few appearances, etc. It goes to about £35, £40 million if he meets all of those instalments, all of those incentives. Once he comes in, I hope that we've got ourselves a nice player that can play any of the midfield spots. He could play a deeper role in that 5-2-2-1 that Peruzzi likes to play. Or he could play in behind the strikers too. He's really good, isn't he? Alexis McAllister probably would see the end of our business for the summer. I did have a look at Edson Alvarez, as it says here. Look, decided against him because we do have Ben Tanker. We've got Skip. We've got Hoiberg in those positions. Basuma as well, that we've pretty well stopped at DM. It was in behind the strikers that we don't have as many players natural there anyway, with Son not being able to play and having to play up front, etc. I It remains to be seen what Peruzzi actually plays there, but I think with... With McAllister, he's got enough enough flexibility to be able to fit him into his side anyway. Let's get ourselves, as I said before, up to this Manchester United game. Okay, little bonus as we get to match day with Manchester United. And that bonus is that Alexis McAllister has joined. His move has gone through, completed on ahead of this first game. £25 million guaranteed, rising to about 40-ish at a maximum. He will come in and we could use him in a range of different positions, really. We could use him as a DLP like this instead of Ben Tanker, or maybe instead of Hoiberg, instead of Kulisevsky, if you wanted to move him further forward. Very adaptable, very flexible, we can bring him in. But the most problematic thing here right now is that we can't bring him into any of these positions because we're not in charge of the team, and nor is Angelo Peruzzi, who continues to be on to be maybe he's on holiday as well he's just not here yet so we are going to holiday one day Gianni Vio who lost 5-1 to Liverpool is going to take charge of the team and probably play some horrible 4-4-2 let's find out how this Manchester United game goes now here at Old Trafford so it's not easy and then hopefully we get Peruzzi in afterwards come on please don't please don't lose by loads again please oh my god we've lost 5-0 we've we've lost he's lost 5-0 this isn't making me look good, Gianni. This is not... Do you know what? In fact, this is really not making me look, Gianni, that I feel like I'm about to lash out. You're out. It's it. That's it. Goodbye, Gianni Viano. 
Oh, that's not even his name. Gianni Vio. He's out of here. 725k. He is going to do no more damage to this club. We've lost 5-1 and then 5-0. What did he play? 4-2-3-1. I mean, that's actually even more worrying. He's played a 4-2-3-1. He's panicked and gone to a 4-2-3-1 Gegen press, and we have been slaughtered by Manchester United. Let's have a look at these goals then. McAllister actually started. 6.2 from him on his debut. Bastoni also made his debut and I think he got a 6.3. This, this, this might be tricky. You know what I said? Is this type of save possible? I mean, maybe it's not. Maybe this is going to be really hard work, even with Peruzzi coming in. Rashford was the player that scored the opening goal. Slots it past Lloris there. Look, let's up the speed on this because we've got another four more goals to come. Shaw down the left. Sancho down the left. That is a wild tackle from... Is it Emerson Royale, I want to say? It's a good finish from Christian Eriksen, a former Spurs player there, of course. Casemiro then picks it up in midfield, looking for the third. It's Anthony. Good touch. Dallo crosses. Rashford makes it three. That was just after halftime. And then they continued to uh, pile on the misery. And it has been a miserable start, hasn't it? Sancho, Bruno Fernandes. Run Fernand into that top corner. Good finish. Then finally, Bastoni. I mean, he's crowded out there, Hoiberg, isn't he? Rashford just runs through and scores 5-0. 5 nil. Five, 5-0. Nil. I mean, I have lashed out and I have sacked Gianni Vio there. But I feel like he deserves it. Let's go through till tomorrow when... This is hopefully when Peruzzi is appointed as our new head coach or assistant manager in game. And we can go from there. The good thing I suppose to look at is that Arsenal are 19th. So it's it's us down the bottom. I think it was Arsenal that lost 6-0 to Manchester City in, on the first day. It was. So when I said that Haaland scored four, it was against Arsenal. So I mean, we're bad, but maybe Arsenal are just as bad. They play Everton before we play them next. I mean... This has been, um, it's been tough. It's been tough. But let's see if, let's just welcome Alexis McAllister. Let's just see if we're actually going to appoint Peruzzi. Because it is now the 14th. He's supposed to have his work permit decision on the 15th. Let's go through and find out. Okay, so Arsenal have drawn 1-1. So it really hasn't been a good start from them. They're 17th. We are, we're rock bottom with a negative nine goal difference. But we can go above them if we beat them. And that's the positives, isn't it? We've got about a week to prepare. I don't think I'm going to do any signings. The only real signing I want to make right now is the new head coach, Angelo Peruzzi. Will he get that work permit or will we have to look elsewhere? I won't be appointing Gianni Vio. That is for sure, though. Today is the day. It's Peruzzi day. The Spurs fans have been waiting for it. Imagine they actually appointed Angelo Peruzzi. I don't think he's ever... Man like This is only going to go badly, isn't it? This This can't go well. Let's find out. Oh, cool. We've um we've paid to, to refund all of the fans, which is cool. Thank you, Emerson Royale, for telling the club website that. Okay. Second game in. Okay, and here it is then. He has got his work permit. And Angelo Peruzzi has been signed as our assistant manager in-game. But we're going to treat him as our new head coach. He doesn't even know it yet, probably. But he is going to be our new man. Angelo Peruzzi, there he is. Very motivational. We're going to need all of that motivation from you now, Angelo, as you've got a team that's morale is probably not looking too good. In fact, what does the dynamic say? It's um, it's actually not as bad as I thought it might be. But yeah, you've got to pick them up off the floor, get them going and hopefully get some results. Let's send them on that in that intensive language course because we need that. Let's go to his uh, here. Let's make sure we delegate him to take charge of the training. And I'll go through and I'll check all the responsibilities too. But the Peruzzi season... At Spurs begins now. First up, it's Arsenal. Let's go and get to that game and uh, see how it goes. Okay, it's North London Derby time. It is the managerial debut time for Angelo Peruzzi. Our new motivational Italian is now in post. And we're getting ourselves ready for this Arsenal game. We do have most of our players back from injuries, by the way. Richarlison, who missed a couple. Bastoni's available too. I'm going to pop them in here. Not that what I'm doing here makes any odds on what uh, Peruzzi's actually going to pick for the game or anything. But I'll just put them in. And I've added as well to our fixtures list here. So that when we look at results, I've put in the formation too. So that we can see what is Peruzzi playing in these games. We've lost both games so far conceding five in five in both of them let's find out what Peruzzi does in this next one I'm going to once again go on holiday for one day I've not said anything about the team selection all the tactics let's find out what Peruzzi does I've gone through all the responsibilities so that he is doing basically everything let's find out how his first game in charge goes and will it be 
a third consecutive defeat because if it is we're in we're this could be a short save this we could be in trouble please win please win oh no he's lost he's lost 2-1 it's slightly more oh i mean actually it's unlucky it actually is unlucky and he has played his 5-2-2-1 system we were potentially the better team here at the emirates we did go 2-0 down we've lost the game 2-1 but do you know what there's so, there's tiny shoots of recovery here, isn't there? McAllister started with Kulisevsky in behind Kane. He's got Basuma and Hoiberg. He's started Bastoni. He's played the system that I thought he would do. We've got maybe a little bit unlucky. Let's have a look at these Arsenal goals and see if there's anything in them that says or tells me what we need to do in the market. Not that we've got much left in terms, in way of transfer budget, but... We're now three games, three defeats, but I feel a little bit better about things. It's Martinelli down the left-hand side for the opener. Crosses it in from here, does he? He goes alone, actually. Does he just put this in? That's terrible defending. It's deflected as well. It's not great defending by Emerson Royale. But it's not the first time that has been said in his career either, is it? It's um disappointing that it also deflects in, though. It was Jesus, I think, with the second goal. Erdegaard, great ball through from Erdegaard. And Lloris has no chance for that. We do get one back. Inside the first half too, maybe we went and looked for an equaliser after this. Kulisevsky, that's really nice. He's fantastic on FM. So I'm hoping we can get, the, or Peruzzi can get the most out of him. But after three games, we find ourselves very much bottom of the league. What a start this has been. I'm hoping next time out with a few easier games, Brighton, Southampton and Everton all at home, maybe we can start to recover. I might go and get these games played. And then we'll start episode two of what I think is going to become a series here. Because this is a lot of fun. How long it lasts, I don't know. Because I'm sure the uh, the board aren't particularly pleased with how it started and the results so far. Does it say anything about the games? Not really. But um, yeah, we'll see how long this lasts. But if you are enjoying this and you think this is a fun save that you want to follow along with, make sure you do subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And turn on the bell as well for notifications. Maybe we'll try and get one of these videos out at least every week. I might go and play a few more now because I'm having a lot of fun with this. So yeah, that's where we'll go from this. Leave a like if you've enjoyed it. Leave me your comments down below. Let me know if you're trying this as well over on the Patreon by joining on there. Let me know how it's going for you. Maybe by joining the Discord. There's all the plugs. Have a lovely rest of your day. Or do you know what? Before you go... Maybe you should stick around and watch this video, which I've chosen for you, as I think is a really good one. Have, enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.